So I would say that first of all, it's of course about a common topic that the different partners are working on. Of course, a topic with relevance for the different, different working realities um, of the different partners that are on board of the partnership. Then, of course, um, speaking about this context, it's also about um, the question of what every partner is actually bringing into the partnership, but also what every partner can take out um, of this um, common project. And of course, then we're speaking about the European program, so it also means including the European dimension, which means um, yeah, this aspect of having different countries working together on a common topic that might have different aspects also um, with the different backgrounds that partner will bring in. So for me, it's a lot actually about the multiple perspectives that will be visible, for example, in the application form. This would mean that, for example, the needs are clearly described for every partner um, that is involved in the partnership, but of course showing very clearly um, which kind of competence every partner can bring in, but also what every partner might learn during this partnership. Of course, also this whole question of um, the balance, like um, who will take over and um, what kind of task, and also why would partner take over this kind of task, so uh, to make like really clear um, what are the competences partner will bring in and how they will learn from each other and um, how they will actually also bring this whole knowledge back to their own organizational context. One important aspect is the one I just mentioned before, it's really also about um, learning from each other. So I think one important point is that competences might not only mean knowledge, like knowledge on the topic, but of course there can be a lot of more diverse competence, competences within the partnership. So for example, it could also be um, one partner bringing in competence about uh, project management, being really experienced in this kind of field, but maybe also um, on specific access to a specific target group um, or one partner with a specific expertise on dissemination. So in the end, it's a lot about the mixture, I would say. Um, it doesn't um, necessarily make sense to have like the very similar um, expertise uh, with the different partners, but more to see how, how what is there and how you can like use it as a puzzle and make a clear picture um, from all those competences and skills that might be um, with the partners that are on board of the partnership. So one very important aspect I would um, see here is actually to think of the fact that equality of the partnership should begin before the start of the project itself. So it's also a lot about preparing things together and having this whole process until the application um, together. This is one part that's actually also really visible um, when you read applications. Um, then of course I would also see this whole question of commitment uh, connected here. So the project should really be like something um, where every partner is committed to and that will bring added value for every partner and um, which also means it should not be only like the coordinator being mainly responsible and being the one pushing through things but more like really this um, equal approach and this um, balanced approach like everyone bringing something in and trying to move things forward. And so, so another important aspect for me would also be this question of um, the reason why to have this partnership, so um, having a clear picture of um, yeah, what specific expertise partners will bring in. For example, it might not make too much sense to have like three partners with very similar expertise from the same country because then it's not really clear why it makes sense to work in this constellation. Um, and of course, then also um, one important aspect might be not only to think from the perspective of, okay, who are the partners I know, who am I already working with, but really more taking maybe the opposite view, thinking, okay, this is what we aim for, what is actually the competences and expertise we might need, and if I s identify that there is like something missing, um, it might be also a hint to look for yeah, a new partner maybe to bring on board um, who can bring in this very specific expertise that might actually be missing um, so far um, with a well-known partner. So sharing the needs of each partner um, also in, pre in the preparation process, I think it's a very central aspect um, because in order to actually have an impact of the project for every partner that's on board, it's also very important to know what are the different needs that might be in the room. Um, and it should not only be about the needs of one or two partners out of the partnership, but really having a look at, okay, um, what is it what every 
partner would need related to this topic and, and what can we actually work on together in order to provide to every partner that, that who is on board um, yeah, impact for his own work um, in the future and also for um, using what's coming out of the project after the project ends actually. So when I think about good projects, what immediately comes to my mind is actually to really be able to read, especially also between the lines, um, or to see that the, um, the application actually had already been prepared together by all the partners. Um, it's visible because, for example, the needs are clear clearly described um, for each and every partner. Um, but you can also read or see the reflection that has been going on in the preparation process. Um, for example, discussing concepts, there are usually clear hints about um, yeah, what do we mean, what uh, might we not mean actually. Um, and then a second very important aspect would actually be also of course the impact. It's also the part um, where it's usually really visible and what might make the difference to really see um, also at the end of the application um, what kind of thinking took place um, in the preparational process, how can every partner on board take back what will be worked on to his own working context, um, apply it, use it of course, um, share it with own colleagues. This question of um, expertise that's brought into the project, so I think it's also making a huge difference if it's visible that actually um, there has been a clear um, choice also to see um, what kind of expertise every partner can bring in the project and how is it going to be combined and used um, and not just like yeah several partners having exactly the same approach and skills and it's not very clear what's going to come out of it. So I would say that the most common error is actually to have the application only written through, through the perspective of the applicant for example. So it's not very clear um, what about the other partners and um, it's only described about needs for one or two partners and the impact is not clear for the other organizations on board. So this is very common um, or especially also in cases where there might be a mix between known and new partners also to have a disbalance between what's described for the partners that already work together pretty often and the ones that might be new on board very often those ones are kind of um, yeah forgotten a bit or can be forgotten a bit in the description of the of the application form. Um, then I would say another aspect that's um, yeah, sometimes missing or not very clear or a sign that maybe um, things haven't been developed that well together and beforehand is also um, dismissing part of um, learning from each other. So really more focused on producing outcome for others, but not including actually reflection on um, what are we going to learn um, as a partnership and, and what is it what partners are going to take out of this common project. Yeah, one other aspect I would see here is also um, a disbalance between maybe partners only bringing in knowledge and input and others only learning something and, and let's say taking things but um, not having both aspects for um, each partner. This is a very central point. Yeah, another thing is um, which also could be like a common mistake or error would be um, to kind of forget um, about this whole part of having room for exchanging and um, yeah, discussing concepts, actually really exchanging about um, how do we understand this, um, what is, how do I approach this, how do you approach that. Um, so having more this bigger orientation on only producing outcomes, but not really um, this aspect of actually working together on things. One of the first things that come to my mind here is really this aspect of capacity building, which means that um, very often I guess it's there as an assumption, but it's not written that actually it's also about um, having this organizational development for the partners that are on board and, and yeah, development for the staff, but also for the organization as such as a whole. So this is one very um, important aspect. Um, then um, quite some projects or applicants or partnerships actually um, tend to forget to describe, describe what they already did beforehand. So there might be only a very short mentioning of, yeah, we had one common project, but they don't describe really in detail this whole common preparation phase or also where does the idea come from, how did it come up, in which context, um, even though this would actually be a very important aspect actually um, when it comes to the application. 
So another part that's quite often forgotten is actually um, this whole question of how dis decisions are taken um, in the partnership, like which ones are going to be taken commonly um, or who is maybe going to take what decision on his or her own and um, which are actually a bigger question that has to be discussed with the whole group. Yeah, and then as a last point, I would still add again here and um, this whole question of actually learning from each other, um, especially when there are like um, project results involved. This is something that's very easily forgotten to be described because of course there's also this big focus on what do others take from it, how can we disseminate it, how can the whole field actually use it. But um, this aspect of actually also always having this idea um, in the background um, of the head of what is actually um, going to happen within the partnership and how can we learn from each other and um, yeah, grow together. Actually, um, this is also something that can be focused um, in the application form and that is forgotten quite often.